ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, the Fantods. <laughs> Thank you. 
You're listening to the music of the Fantods. I don't know what a Fantod is, but I, and maybe over the course of this evening's program, I'll find out somehow. Well, you're in uh, you're a very good company. You know, actually, um, <laughs> Mickey, yeah. in, unless you speak directly on a microphone, I will not hear you, and neither will the audience. Well, that may be okay. As it, as it, <laughs> I didn't get a whole lot of sleep last night, so I don't know if uh, what I have to say is going to be incredibly coherent. But if I turn this microphone yeah. and make a big squeaking noise while I do it, oh, oh, it's not bad. Well oiled. All right. Is this okay? This is fine. Oh, good. <laughs> um, Fantods. That's actually from. Uh, it's from a Mark Twain. Uh, Actually, it's in Huck Finn. I think it's in a bunch of other uh, Twain books. Uh, either it was an Americanism from the uh, late 19th century or something that Mark Twain invented. And it means kind of like a, the chills or the willies or a feeling of the spirits or something like that. That's someone, that, someone walking over your grave? Yeah, it gives you the fantods. Goodness. So yeah. it's a condition. Yeah, really. Uh, they, it, it could be. Sometimes fatal, maybe. I don't know, but <laughs> hopefully not for the members of your combo. No, we've been actually we've been uh, together since 1988, so they survived uh, at least what we're in our fifth year. Hiding in the woodwork. Hiding in the woodwork. Uh huh. No, man. You know, we're just playing downtown, the, like the downtown music oh. scene. So that's it's equivalent of like sort of being completely unrecognized and underground, <laughs> I suppose. <laughs> well, we're here broadcasting to the masses. Um, on the frequency of 91.1 FM. This is the Music Faucet, a weekly live music program. Um, in between songs there, you you tuned up. Oh, yeah, yeah, I changed... Uh, Did you change tunings? In fact, I haven't changed back. I should probably start changing back while I'm, while I'm talking to you. Did you change into some sort of modal tu tuning? Yeah, I use a lot of uh, different open tunings on my acoustic guitar. H how does the, that affect the cello and uh, double bass player that you are accompanying it doesn't really affect them so much as the fact that my guitar goes out of tune a lot mm. <laughs> and they give me dirty looks um they're they're very facile uh, players and and they have very good ears and and so they they don't have frets either so they don't have to worry about so much if like i'm a little off you know they'll they'll just move their fingers a little bit and it, mm. it usually works out pretty well i think the next tune we're going to do is actually in kind of a standard tuning I'm hoping one day, one day I can afford to have more than one guitar, <laughs> so I can have them tuned. Hey. Oops! Oh, I knew that was gonna happen. It's all right. I have spares. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> buy fried chicken from Jimmy's up the street. Jimmy's sells the finest fried chicken in the land. <laughs> <laughs> Yee-haw! Get your fried chicken at Jimmy's and change your strings while you're at it. The Fantods swinging. Well, I'm going to be ready in a minute. If somebody else wants to take the... Uh, um, now the reason I sound like this is because I have a pick in my mouth. <laughs> um, we're um, we're all a bunch of uh, musicians basically who sort of play in like a lot of different bands, and uh, I've managed to corral these guys into this group for some time. Um, I don't know how, but somehow they've managed to sort of stick with me and play this music for years and years with very little money, no recognition whatsoever. Uh, you know, a little bit of a following. <laughs> um, there's a gosh awful buzz in there it coming from your amp, isn't it? Is it, it really? Oh. Yeah. But it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, just use the mic. Just use, turn the amp down and just use the. Uh... <laughs> Tell them about the next tune. Oh, yeah, the next tune is called uh, Fishy Diddy. What, what uh, ladies and gentlemen in Radio Land, what you're experiencing right now is the changing of the strings. It's something that happens on live radio 
all the time. It can be entertaining. It's done. You can't hear that buzz anyway when we're playing, right? No. <laughs> Only when we're sitting here chattering. Exactly. So you better get playing. I think we're going to do a tune called The, the Lubber Fiend. I just said Fishy Diddy, but they have the two titles. So it's either Fishy Diddy or The Lubber Fiend. Ladies and gentlemen, The Fantods. Thank you. 
glorious tunes from a group known as the Fantods, who are performing live in what I like to refer to as the palatial studio studios of WFMU. Um, yeah, it's, it's actually it's very comfy in here. Um, although you don't have any AC, do you? <laughs> yes, there is. I'm behind you. Oh, oh, I see. It makes quite a racket, though. Oh, don't worry about it then. We'll, we'll sweat for another half hour or so. Um, so that was the lover theme. We're going to do a tune now called Our Family. Um, and uh, you can decide for yourself what kind of a family that is. <laughs> He's laughing. TV family? <laughs> <laughs> My three sons? We, yeah, we, we can't, we have to, the, the, the name of the family has to remain uh, A TV mysterious. family full of hates. Un unfortunately, we don't get residuals from the movie or anything like that. Um, <laughs> uh, Soon. Yeah, exactly. Um, maybe I'll, I'll just take a, a minute to introduce uh, oh, please do. everybody in the Identify band. Identify the players. Yeah, exactly. Um, on cello... Uh, you can't really see him, but he's he's wearing a Carmen Miranda hat <laughs> and a nice brightly lit electric red bulb nose. Uh, it's Eric Friedlander on the cello. Eric Friedlander, why does your name sound so familiar? <laughs> the hardware store. The hardware store, possibly. No, I don't know why. <laughs> Remember, nothing you say off mic. Can be heard. Yeah, He's Especially got his nose stuck up speaking, his f hole here. Speaking, the, uh, <laughs> <laughs> really speaking into his pickup <laughs> neck, I can see it. Oh, really, are we are we rated for all audiences? Um, no. <laughs> Adults only. Um, on the on the drums, uh, Grisha Alexiev. Hi there. Hi. Am I on the mic? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> he said hi. You're getting there. On uh, on the bass, uh, Lindsay Horner. Yes, that that was that was Lindsay, uh, and a fine-looking young man he is. Um, and my name is Mickey Navazio, and I'm responsible for all the music, uh, with the help of of these guys, of course, who've been <laughs> playing it with me for some time. Uh, later on, uh, not too later on, but very shortly later on, Mickey uh, Navazio is accompanying. Uh, well, th th he is playing a guitar. Oh yeah, I am playing guitar, right? Well, I figured that most people were smart enough to figure out that I'd left out the guitar and that that was going to be me, but... Not necessarily. Not necessarily. No, it is a Sunday afternoon. And, and this is WFMU. And it is WFMU, so 
Yeah, I'll keep that into consideration okay. from now, from here on in. Um, but I, I was saying that uh, we're going to have uh, my my uh, very uh, dear friend and wonderful singer associate uh, Andrea Kane join us for uh, a pile of songs. And a pile is a significant number, but a finite number of songs. And you'll find out how much, how many songs when we play them all but later in tonight's program. Yeah, I think. Um, so maybe we should go on. You gonna play something else? Want to play "Below You Bounce"? Below You Bounce. We got we got plenty of time, don't we? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. There's lots of music. There's actually plenty more where this came from. Um, you will be listening if you remain tuned for the next hour to the Fantods, who who are performing here live at WFMU uh, in East Orange, New Jersey. <laughs> this is the music faucet. The fan tods are our guests.
How'd you like that? Thoroughly enjoyable. <laughs> and we had a call from someone who was wondering what the name of that last tune was, which I guess was not this one, but the one before, which I guess was Our Family. Our Family, yeah. Our Family. And uh, this tune was called the Below You Bounce. Um, kind of an optimistic view of kind of jumping off a high place, I suppose. <laughs> well, speaking of optimism and jumping... Where do you folks play? <laughs> um, yeah, well, it's about time you asked us something about like that. Um, <laughs> we usually we usually play uh, like the Knitting Factory, uh -huh. uh, Skep, which is a coffee house on uh, Broom Street uh, in in Manhattan as well. is is a is a nice place. Uh, uh, Fez under Time Cafe. Mm -hmm. uh, that that You've joint. You've played all these places. Yeah, we have played at all these places and and some other ones that. Uh, we used to play, you know, remember the New Music Cafe on Canal Street? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we used to we used to play there until uh, until they went out of business. Well, no, oh, well, forget it. I, I, <laughs> I should I shouldn't get into it. Oh, they did go out of business. No, I don't know if they went out of. <laughs> did you? We heard that? some we heard some rumblings off mic, but I have to say, fellas and, and lady, I have I got three out of three on that one. Oh, <laughs> I guessed the New Music Cafe, Fez, and right. Skip. Uh huh. I didn't, uh, you know, the Knitting Factory was the obvious choice, and I missed it. Shocking. Oh. I'm glad Nick and I, uh, well, I but should have had money on that. I well, guess. are there any more places, I mean, you know, to play? I don't know. <laughs> you uh, call? Or there, we yeah, can you call some other places and, and hmm. see about, because, you know, the, we're not, I mean, actually, what, I tried to get some gigs at the, like, the levee or some places like that, you know, but, but um, our, you know, this music that we're playing isn't, it's what not exactly like... What would you call this music? <laughs> Fantods. <laughs> it's, it's the Fantods music. Yeah, it's pretty... Uh, it's, a, it's kind of a hybrid that describes imagination. Um, is it chamber music? Yeah, in a way. Sure it is. It's, it's kind of American chamber music. And that's kind of why you're playing it in that peculiar chamber over there. I, uh, fishbowl, sort of. <laughs> <laughs> you understand that I'm looking at Nick through this two-layered uh, glass... Bulletproof, uh, bulletproof glass... Uh, Partition, uh, yeah, and they're actually uh, wearing. It uh, should be noted that it, you're actually looking through the Bill Suggs Memorial uh, uh, honorary load-bearing wall. <laughs> what it is, Nick? Would you like to tell us something about the fuzzy dice that are hanging up there in the control room? I don't know anything about the fuzzy dice. Hmm. They could use a bath. I can tell you that much. <laughs> There are two Advil inside the window. <laughs> How do they if get any, there? If anyone gets a headache, <laughs> break, break glass. <laughs> okay, enough sight gags. <laughs> yeah, the music, the music is really hard. It's hard to define. Actually, I'd be curious if anybody, uh, if anybody else calls in, in the program, if they have any ideas. Uh, well, okay, the what? number here is 201-678-7743. Right, exactly. If you'd like to describe this music, which has been briefly sort of casually referred to as chamber music <laughs> are we giving away Mets tickets no, Greetings, nobody's gonna nobody's gonna want <laughs> we're not gonna get very far with that I'm afraid <laughs> you're on the air what what I is hear you. this I can hear you now what is this music uh, well I don't know but what is um, I don't want to make any comparisons but I'm going to anyway what is Kronos Quartet what kind of music is that there you go that, that's that's not a that's there not you a, go <laughs> there you go again Dang there it. they go comparing us to the Kronos Quartet I'm sorry but what kind are they by the way well I mean they don't play their own music they play other people's music only only yeah really yeah they're not composers not, not any of them then I guess you guys are classic rock oh god <laughs> <laughs> okay thanks for your call okay <laughs> I don't one label that uh, we've heard that kind of makes some sense is acoustic funk acoustic funk acoustic folk funk acoustic folk funk afghani Hello? latino yes. polka greetings you're on the air what would you call this music you've been listening to i, I call it a uh, knitting factory music ah Ooh, there you go that's a low blow <laughs> <laughs> no i mean that, that's what i've called it is no, michael is michael dorf listening I don't know. that's kind of like calling all gelatin jello uh, no why, why would you say that I don't know. Yeah, because all gelatin jello. Uh, just because, uh, yeah. <laughs> because I, I look at the voice listings and, uh, gee, I don't. I'm not too sure why. Hmm. <laughs> think well, about it. Think about it. Get back to us. <laughs> we'll just refer to it as gelatin. 
Now, there we go. Gelatin. Everything is so gelatinous today, anyway. It certainly is. I'm moving at only 40 miles an hour. <laughs> okay, thanks, thanks for your call. <laughs> Well, that's 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 some uh, some food for thought. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Maybe we better play a little more. Yeah, I think you'd better. Although, <laughs> <laughs> um, what are we gonna play? We're gonna play uh, just one Shio? second. We got one more try here on the air. What what would you call this music? Obviously, it's called Fantasia. Fantasia. Ah, very mm. nice. Fantasia. Nice save. <laughs> yes, congratulations. You've won. Well, I'm also a fan of the band. And oh, the okay. Well. <laughs> You're discount dis orange juice home you're, way. you're immediately disqualified then. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for your call. And uh, for a little more fantasia, please stay tuned to WFMU Uppsala College East Orange, New Jersey. We're here with the Fantods. A Mark Twainism. I guess you could call them the heebie jeebies. If you wanted to, maybe they might squawk. I'm Nick Hill. I'm here with Laura Cantrell, and Irene Trudell is doing a fine job of engineering this program over there on the other side of the room. <sighs> Play us some tunes.
tunings by the Fantods. That uh, piece was called Tres Rios. Which means? Three Rivers. Although it sounds like Spanish is actually Brazilian. But my Brazilian isn't that good, so it ends up coming down like Spanish. I was listening to your guitar playing, and it was reminding me of the playing of Sandy Bull. I don't know if you've heard any of him, but... Sandy? Sandy Bull. No, no, no. You know Sandy Bull? Grisha knows Sandy Bull. I don't. What's it like, Grisha? It's a little bit like yours, Mickey. <laughs> <laughs> Last I heard, he was in San Francisco. I went to see him play about 15 years ago. It's sort of psychedelic classical music. Oh, really? Is that what you guys play? Well, we did a lot of <laughs> drugs in our in our heyday. Um, you know, mostly we're living on uh, what, what do they call not flashbacks. Uh, you know, all, uh, fantasy, hope. Well, fantasies, hope, <laughs> hope, living off hope. The Fantods, or the heebie-jeebies, as they would have been called prior to Mark Twain's day. You know, all everybody in this band. Um, I mean, they're all great musicians, uh, and uh, they all play with a lot of other great bands. Um, I mean, I can't even begin to, to, to oh, list them all. Start. But just begin. <laughs> but we can drop a lot of names. Who here. else has Eric Friedlander played with? Where Where have you played around, <laughs> Eric? In, Eric, you're gonna have to into a microphone. Gee. Um, oh, come on! Ooh. Don't be shy. Well, I played kind of jazzy stuff with Fred Hirsch, mm -hmm. pianist, and I have my own band that's. Thanks for asking. Playing this Friday night <laughs> at Roulette. Oh, goodness gracious! 9 p.m. at Roulette in New York in Tribeca. Give me the address. Uh, Eric, I don't know the address. <laughs> it's on White Street, well, isn't it? It's on I, White Street in West Broadway. I, White Street, the, West Broadway. I have the address right here. In fact, it's Roulette, 228 West Broadway. Right, and that's at 9 p.m. on Friday night. The Brick House Band. That's my band. Eric Friedlander. She's a brick <laughs> house. <laughs> And why did you, you what's the Brick House band? Now, I, tell us about it. I, it's not Mark Twain. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Lindsay Horner's over there playing the double bass, I guess you might call it. What's your heritage? <laughs> you mean uh, who else do I play with? That's kind of what I meant. Well, I play a lot lately with the pianist Myra Melford, and um, we've just done a live record in Europe, and we're playing at the Knitting Factory on May the 1st. With 7.30. It's Myra Melford Trio. It's with Reggie Nicholson playing drums, and we have a special guest, Dave Douglas, who's a great trumpet player playing trumpet. And the songs were dropping names. I, I also have another band called the Chromatic Persuaders with the great jazz violinist Mark Feldman. And Grisha, who's playing drums here, is playing in that band also. We're playing on May 2nd at the Knitting Factory, where else? <laughs> you know, <laughs> and, uh, I'm glad you guys are, are announcing all these gigs, because I'm losing track already. <laughs> but we, we all belong to this kind of loose aggregation of kind of versatile, open musicians. So probably between the four of us, or I don't know, we probably play in I don't know, 15 bands, something, at least. Something like that. At Frightening. Least. You know, not to mention freelance work, recording, you know, things that actually make money, <laughs> you know, which we do a little of when, when we can. Um, yeah, and actually, um, well, the Fantods, we're, we're not actually playing a, a concert until the end of May. Uh, we're playing at Skep on Broom Street. When? On May 28th, a Friday evening. A fine weekend night. A fine weekend night. Right at the, the right at the start of a glorious the cusp summer. Cusp of spring, yes. And uh, the following week, or what is it, the week and a half later, on the sixth of June, we're playing at the Knitting Factory. Uh, Where? <laughs> the Knitting Factory. Where is that? Where is that? I, I forget. 47 East, yeah, forty-seven East Houston, Houston Street, Street, between Mott and Mulberry. Um, and we're actually going to build with the um, Sirius S I R I U S String Quartet. Uh, which used to be called the Soldier String Quartet, mm -hmm. and now they've Is reformed. David Soldier not with them anymore? Yeah, uh, yeah. I, I can't begin to go into all the permutations okay. of, of that relationship. Don't but, start. Uh, but uh, they are now the Sirius S I R I U S String Quartet, and they're actually premiering, I think, a John Zorn String Quartet on that evening. And we're on the bill. This band here is on the bill uh, on that Sunday, the sixth. You know, if it weren't for Grisha out th over there on drums you folks would almost be considered a string quartet. Um, yeah, we've thought of that from time to time, um, especially since 
so, you know, what Capitol Records and, and Warner Brothers. We couldn't get him to pick up the viola, so <laughs> he had to stick with the drums. There are little strings on the bottom of his snare drum, presumably, but... Strands. Strands. We'll call them strands. Okay. Richard, do, you, do you play any string instruments? I don't know if I ever asked you. You know, it's funny you ask, because I was a child violinist. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. All right. Well, that solves that problem. Get with the program. <laughs> then, then I discovered viola jokes, and it was all downhill from there. <laughs> But I don't think that viola jokes are really a Would you like to share a few with us, man? I think it's a bad idea. I think um, that people should phone in viola jokes. But uh, since it's uh, promotional time, I might say that uh, I've played with a few of these characters here and also have worked a little bit with um, John Cage, or Randy Weston, Sam Rivers. Ooh. And, uh, <laughs> ah. <laughs> nice and atmospheric in here. Uh, I have a group of my own called No Western Shirts, but it's... Uh, too large and expensive to front right now, so I have to wait until what, uh, I get what, some gigs of What do you mean it's too large and expensive to front? Is it a large, I mean, like a 20-piece orchestra? It's or 11 people. Goodness but gracious. One of the things you know, that might be worth bringing up and mulling over on the air is most of us, when we play our own gigs, uh, let me you know, get a show of hands here so you folks can see, but uh, <laughs> how many of you guys lose money on your own gigs? <laughs> and all the hands, all hands rise. I do, I do. <laughs> and e even the announcer loses money on all that. <laughs> so, uh, um, we're, you know, I'm trying to give you guys the idea that we, we need what support we can. So when uh, when Lindsay has a project or Mickey or anyone we mention here, uh, we appreciate you coming out because it means we just lose a little less money. <laughs> Grisha, maybe the people would like to hear how your band No Western Shirts got his name. That again is a is something I just can't say in New Jersey. <laughs> oh shucks. <laughs> <laughs> and Mickey Navazio yes, over sir. there on guitar, who's who I guess composes many of these tunes that we've been listening to. All of them, the as a matter of fact. <laughs> um, you were with the Lounge Lizards? Yeah, I am, I am still with the Lounge Lizards. Uh, um, I mean, we just haven't played anywhere recently. <laughs> you know? I see. We're, we're in a kind of hibernation. Although, actually, um, we're, we're playing on the 4th and the 5th of June, Friday and Saturday, at the Knitting Factory, which is nice because then I'm going to get all those people to come see my band on the 6th. Very you know, so convenient. I'm, I'm, I'm really into this marketing thing now. You know, It's, it's, it's very important. Um, I'm also playing this Monday, uh, tomorrow, as a matter of fact, with Reggie Workman's uh, group at yeah. the Knitting Factory. Uh, and that includes uh, Jason Huang, the violinist, John Purcell, uh, Jerry Hemingway on drums, and the great Reggie Workman on bass. Uh, so that's going to be kind of a foray into electric -ness. I usually play electric guitar, by the way. I don't know if people can tell that I'm playing an acoustic guitar, but I hope they can, even yeah. though... I'm using different kind of boxes and sometimes a wah-wah pedal and sometimes I stick a piece of metal string in the strings to make it funkier and nastier. But I'm playing this very beautiful handmade uh, custom steel string guitar and uh, I kind of, one of the reasons I put this band together was so that I could play acoustic guitar. You know, because nobody wants, you know, you never get hired to play acoustic guitar, right? Well, I never do. <laughs> no, I know you never do. <laughs> Hey, I, I would like to tell everyone in Radio Land that uh, that it's a little after seven o'clock, and you're listening to WFMU Uppsala College, East Orange, New Jersey. This is the music faucet here, and we are here with our guests in the studio performing live, the Fan Todds. Um, I'm going to invite Andrea Kane to join us now on uh, singing uh, some pieces here, and these are I don't know they're all kind of like these, well. They're songs. I don't want to define the character of them. I'll, again, I'll, I'm really lousy you, at that. Why don't you not define I'm not going to define the character of the songs, but I will say that the lyrics that you're going to hear were all written by Stephanie Fleischman, who is sort of my <coughs> songwriting uh, partner. Uh, and uh, the first piece we'd like to play is called A Storm Inside. Mm -hmm. The Fan Todds with Andrea Kane. Hello. Last night I slept with the windows closed But this morning I woke to a straw
dans la roue, naviguant le monde sans vie. Et le maromètre a changé son événement pour tragédie au dedans à la maison. Quelque chose Fan Todd's featuring Andrea Kane on vocals. Oh. Right. Now the next thing I'm going to play is going to be an open D tuning. <laughs> <laughs> just say that the open D tuning open D tuning means that the guitar is tuned to a, a chord uh, in effect right but it has a very kind of liberating emotion to its sound right it's open it's it's free it's hence the name it's it's actually really complicated. <laughs> uh, I like I like fooling around with tunings because it means that all the theory and technique that I learned in in school it goes out the window and uh, you mean start from scratch. It's really very simple. You don't understand it at all. Right. <laughs> I mean, this is like you know, like the, the the great blues players mostly play in, in open tunings of sorts, like an open E or an open G. Um, you know, it's the Spanish. Uh, it's the Spanish influence I guess that settled on this uh, classic what we call the classic guitar tuning E A D G B E uh, don't get technical on us now <laughs> E every every <laughs> deserves good <laughs> complete this sentence speaking of which what is the name of this next <coughs> number this next number is called it's called the, the comet song the Comet Song by the Fantods, performed in open D tuning. Comet, it tastes like gasoline. <laughs> 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 To while away my nights I stay up watching meteor showers Insomniac I measure the Milky Way's spin Constant
They come crashing through the clouds Waiting for the end of the There's that song again. I keep hearing that song. It's so familiar. Someone was playing that last night at the show I was at. Where were you? <laughs> <laughs> the Fillmore East. Um, what do we got? We got about ten more minutes? Is yes. That, is that about right? About. I can't tell because, you know, your little hand and big hand are... are I think they've they're, been pasted over. They've been there. pasted over. Let's just say 10, okay? Oh. Let's, just, let's just say <laughs> Censorship 10. Censorship in New Jersey. Um, but we do have a couple more tunes. Mm. I think we will be able to fit. Uh, okay. Yes, we will be able to fit them. Well, why don't we just say that uh, mm -hmm. to the folks in Radio Land that they are listening to the Fan Tods and uh, Andrea Kane is singing along with the Fan Tods right now. Mm-hmm. That As she we is. speak. And they are performing May 28th at Skep and June 6th at the Knitting Factory. Coming soon <laughs> to a neighborhood <laughs> near you. <laughs> <laughs> we hope. That would be, that would be the, the Fantods tour, right? Skep, Knitting Factory. We should have find a couple other places and we can print up t-shirts. St. Anne's. Do the whole thing. All right. This piece is called On the Muse. Play.
Right, so should we finish? Mm -hmm. One, two, yeah. Okay, so we have a we have another piece to play. Um, and again, I want to reiterate these songs were written by uh, by myself, and uh, Stephanie Fleischman is responsible for the lyrics. And Fully. Yes, the lyrics. And this last one we're going to play. Is, I, it seems like a little idi idio or uh, or forget it. It just it doesn't seem like it's the kind of non tune. seasonal. Yeah, it's time to, to play on a beautiful spring day like today, especially when we're so mellow. But it's called the January Blues. <coughs> Shoes, January. 
Ladies and gentlemen, the Fantods performing live here at WFMU. January Blues, a song which would have been current had you broadcast when we originally scheduled this program last <laughs> January. Well, that's life, you know. The scheduling uh, nightmare. Um, but uh, this is great. Uh, let me just uh, quickly re uh, repeat the names of the members of the band. Eric Friedlander on cello. Grisha Alexeyev on the drums, Lindsay Horner on bass, Andrea Kane singing, and my name is Mickey Navazio. I'm playing guitar and uh, I wrote uh, the music you heard, and I hope you enjoyed it. Mickey, we have had a question from a caller. Oh, sure. Which is, is there any way to hear you other than live? Uh, well, we made a, I actually went to the studio in, uh, what, last summer? Was it last June? Yeah, we went into the studio and uh, we made a record. Um, and I've basically been trying to get somebody to put it out uh, since. Um, and I'm hoping that uh, by the end of this year, <laughs> I might get somebody to put it out or maybe go back in the studio again because there's a lot of new material uh, that's come this way. But it's a that's a tough. It's this it, it's it's yeah. one of a number of uh, unreleased cassettes. Yeah, exactly. We're holding out for the big video disc deal. So <laughs> maybe it's just as well. We're out of time. Thank you. Hey, thanks for coming down, fan Todds. Thank you, Nick. Thanks for having us. <laughs> and playing your hearts out on the air. My name is Nick. This is the Music Faucet. Many thanks uh, to our illustrious engineer, Irene Trudell. Stay tuned for the John Chanel Nick Hill transitional moment coming right up. And uh, our, our guest host this evening... Laura Cantrell, thank you. Thank you, Nick. Eek. Hi, this is John Schnall. And this is Nick Hill, and you're listening to uh, a couple of guys walking. Walking. Down the hey, it's a nice night, Nick. Wait, well, hey, watch out, watch out, don't fall. This is the great outdoors. We're in the great outdoors. We're having yeah, I heard kind about of a this. Spring yeah. Moment, kind of a, a spring nice into spring fever moment. And yeah. A, a nice time we're having of it too, right, John? 
Well, yeah, it's... Uh, I thought we could come out here into the backyard, into the great outdoors, and kind of look up and inter interview maybe someone who was out here. But, you know, there's no one out here except for you and me. Yeah. Well, gosh, we're out of time. This has been... The John Schnall. Nick Hill. Spring Fever. Transitional. Uh, yeah, moment, yeah. <laughs>